Hey, Naira, and welcome back to another Kids Club. Yes, Alison, it's fantastic to be back in this Kids Club studio. It is. Uh, it's a really sunny day today as well. It's much it's better than it was the other day. Amazing. Better than that blustery wind, winds we've oh, been having. It's been and, bad. Yeah, and it's great to see the kids. Can you see the kids? Uh, no. I can't you see can't any kids. I know that kids are kids. watching us, though, because it tells me how many people have viewed the film, the video. So, yeah, but I can't see any kids. I really miss seeing the kids' faces. Do you? Yeah, yeah. How long, yeah. How long before you think um, we come out of lockdown? Who knows? <laughs> but I tell you what, to cheer us up, because I have no idea how long we're going to be in lockdown. I have come up with a funny joke. All right. Do you want to hear it? Okay, it better be funny, you know, because it's we hilarious. need cheering up. We really it's... need cheering up, don't we, kids? Okay. <laughs> it's so funny, right, I'm right, laughing right. already. Okay. Okay, let's where do Where do sick boots go to get better? Where do sick boats go to get better? Hmm. Let me see. To the boatyard? Nearly. They go to the docks. Oh my father! <laughs> that is absolutely terrible. Oh no! I thought it was a really funny joke. I liked it. Okay, maybe I'll try this one. I've got another okay. joke. It might let's be funny. Let's hear. Let's hear the second one. It better be okay. good. <laughs> have you heard the one about the germ? I heard the one about the germ. No, I haven't heard the one about the germ. Okay, well, I better not tell you because I don't want to spread it. <laughs> oh. I think you need a new book. A new book, a new joke book, maybe. Yep. Possibly. Yep. That definitely. would be a good definitely. thing. Definitely, definitely, definitely. All okay, right. So, what are what we doing this? today, Naren? Have you any idea what's going on? I have no idea. I, I have what's the, the first thing that we're doing brilliant. today? We're doing a game. Ray's doing a game. Ray's doing a game. Okay, and then I believe that you're doing our Bible story today. I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing that. Story on the what Good is it? Samaritan. Good Samaritan. That's <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. And you're doing a craft. I am yeah. doing a craft, and we're introducing Helen to our little video today Helen's and back. she's going to be she's going to be teaching us this week's bible bit so i'm really looking forward to it so without yeah. without any more hesitation let's pass over to ray for this week's game thanks guys it's bria and it's ray from kids club in stonebridge we hope you're all well and staying safe during this lockdown we're here this week with another great game from Kids Club. Hi, so the game today is another classic from Kids Club. It's when we, uh, usually, we usually play when we're at camp. You might recognize it. It's over there. It usually comes out on the assault course. That's the Tin Can Alley. But as you know, we're locked in. So we can't expect mum and dad to go out and get you Tin Can Alley. So we're going to find an alternative. So today we're going to play <laughs> Toilet <laughs> Roll, Tin <Team> Can Alley. <laughs> Which is over there. Which is over there. Okay, so as you can see, I've got four toilet rows sitting, sitting on our uh, chair here. Okay, as we're inside the house, we don't want you to be throwing things like the balls and the stuff that we do when we're at Kids Club. So we use our favorite indoor balls socks from dad's cupboard okay so let's see who can knock those four toilet rolls off with these four socks in the shortest time or with the less amount of balls okay so Bria's going first she's got her four ball socks in her hand let's see how many she can knock off um, and then I'll see if I can beat her score let's go hold on a minute <laughs> Carry on. Three. She's only three shots again. Okay. My turn. I'm standing in regulation two meters away, social distancing. Let's go. Oh my word. 
<laughs> Thank you very much. I think I'm the champion. In you come, bro. Would you say to your dad? <laughs> I'm the champion. Okay, so that's how you play Toilet Roll Tin Can Alley. We'll see you next week with another great game. Um, I'm going to pass you over to Ali, who's going to show you what to do with this week's craft. Thank you very much. Bye. Stay safe. Hi, and welcome back to another craft session from Ali. If you're on our mailing list, then you may well have already received our little love bug pack. And in your pack, you will have got an A4 sheet of paper folded into four, four little hearts, and two googly eyes. So in order to make the love bug, you're going to have to get some glue. So I've got a glue pen here. Maybe you've got a print stick or a glue stick of some description and uh, an ordinary pen or a pencil to write with. And it's very, very simple. So if you wanted, you could cut your paper into four along the lines that we've given you, or you could make this into a little card so that it stands up. But you want to have your piece of paper the, that's folded into four into a uh, landscape. OK, so that would be portrait. This is landscape. And then all we're going to simply do is we're going to add in our hearts. So I'm going to lay them on top of the paper first with no glue, just to see how they all fit together. And we're making a little bug, like a caterpillar type thing. And you want to be able to show as much of the heart as you possibly can do, so that we, because we're going to write on them after we've stuck them down. And then we're going to save one heart and make it the head. Okay, so that's kind of what we want. So I can know now where to stick my hearts. I'm going to take them off and I'm going to put some glue on the back of each heart. So I'm going to start out, put some glue on my heart here. So that's the first one. Stick it down. Oh, not quite right. I'm going to stick it down. There we go. And then I'm going to take the blue one, I think. I'm going to put some glue on the back and then overlap it slightly to the green one. There we go. And then the orange one. Put some glue on. And overlap that one a bit. There we go. And so that's the body of our love bug on there. And then the heart. The red one I'm making to be the face. You can choose whichever colour you want. And then I'm going to put it at a slight angle. There we go. So the head is on. So we've got the majority of our love bug made. I've get, we've provided you with two googly eyes. Now I don't think these are self-adhesive, unfortunately. So I'm going to try this glue. I'm not sure if it'll work. Print stick will definitely work on this. And I'm going to stick it on my face um, like that so if you have a print stick that I know that that work oh this I put a bit too much on that one or if you've even got it on his front of the eye there okay hopefully you can do a much better job than I can uh, I'm not sure that the glue that I've got will work so if you have print stick then or a tube of glue like that then I'm sure it will work and um, then I'm just going to draw a little nose and a smiley face and I'm going to give him some antennae there we go and then from each bottom of each heart I'm going to draw in some legs So I'm drawing like an a, a D on one side and a B on the other with a long tail. Get a bit bigger. There we go. Okay, so there we have our little love bug. 
And, you know, that is lovely. You could make it into a card and you could send it to somebody and so you could write a message inside. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to write something on each of the hearts here. And so all I'm going to write here is God loves you. There we go. So we've got God loves you. And so there we have our little card. And then, as I say, on the inside, you could write a message to somebody and then pop it in the post. And that way we can be a little bit like the people in our Bible story today and we can share God's love with somebody else. So I'm going to pass you over to Nyron now and he's going to tell us all about today's Bible story. So catch you next week with another craft. Take care. Bye bye. Thanks, Alison. That was a wonderful, wonderful craft. A beautiful, beautiful love part. Anyway, let's have a look at today's Bible story. And today's Bible story is taken from the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 25, dot, dot, to 37. And it's the story of the good Samaritan. Jesus was talking to some people and they said to them, he said, um, they said to him, who are our neighbors? And this is what Jesus, and I had to show love to them. And Jesus said to, started to tell them a story. He said, there was once a man who was traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho, who was stopped got stopped and he was beaten badly and he was robbed and he was just left there on the pavement with loads of cuts and bruises and he was bleeding, bleeding very badly. A while later a religious leader came along. He saw the state this person was in. He smelled a bit whiffy. He looked a mess. So he quickly moved to the other side and just walked past. A while later, too, came a temple worker who saw the man lying there on the pavement. He looked at the man, and he too saw the mess, and he thought, hmm, this guy looks really, really dodgy. I'm not going to help him. So he too, he quickly walked past and left the man there. Then came a man from Samaria who saw a man lying on the floor, cuts, bruises, bleeding. He didn't care at all that this man smelled with me. He didn't care that there was a big mess. He just knelt down, gently lifted the man and started to bandage all the cuts and all the bruises. He carried the man to the local inn and stayed the night there. In the morning, he gave the innkeeper some money. And he said to the innkeeper, I will be back in a while. If this money isn't enough for his stay and for looking after him, I will make it up on my return. Now Jesus said to the people that he was talking to, now, who do you think showed love? And they replied, the man who cared. 
Jesus said, now go out and do the same. Now, I'm going to quickly nip down to the garden to tell you a beautiful object lesson. Okay. Hello, children. Welcome to the Kids Club Garden. And today I have a beautiful lesson on love. And here I have some beautiful flowers and a pair of dirty gloves. Now, which one of these would you say is associated with love? Which one of these would you give to someone because you love them? Would you give them a pair of dirty gloves? Or would you give them a pair of, or would you give them a bunch of beautiful flowers? You would say beautiful flowers. He wants to give someone a pair of dirty gloves to show that they love them. <clears throat> but you know, these gloves, they show love. To get these beautiful flowers, I need these gloves because it's hard work to get these flowers. And it's the same with love. It's hard work to love someone. Let me explain. <clears throat> I need to wear these gloves when I'm working in the garden or on the allotment because if I don't wear them, I will get stung by nettles or get scratches um, with thorns. So I need to wear them, otherwise I will be in serious trouble. And also, I need to wear them when the ground is hard as well. Because if, when the ground is hard and I'm using a spade and a big fork, when I start to dig, what will happen is the fork may hurt my hand and I will start to get blisters. Can you imagine having big blisters when you're just holding the fork or the spade like that with no gloves? It's not really, really nice, is it? And it's the same with love. Love is hard work. It's really hard to love someone who doesn't love you. It's hard to love someone who won't show love back in return. Someone who bullies you. Someone who doesn't want to share their lunch with you. Someone who's been really, really nasty. It is really, really hard work. Just like trying to get these flowers. And what it is, we need to have Jesus in our heart. We need to ask Jesus, Father Jesus, come into my heart help me to love this person that has been nasty to me and Jesus will help you to love that person so okay remember love your neighbor just ask Jesus and he will do that let us pray father God we just thank you that you're gracious and holy help us to love those people who, who hate us because your word says to love thy neighbour. Help us to be like the good Samaritan in the Bible story we heard about. So Father, we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome to today's Bible bit, which comes from Luke 10, 27. Love your neighbour as yourself. I've come up with some fantastic actions to help you remember. Okay, let's get started. Love your neighbour as yourself. I told you it was easy, I'll do it one more time for you. Love your neighbour as yourself. Great. I'll now pass you back to Ray to find out what today's competition is. Thanks, Helen. Hi, guys. It's Ray from Kids Club in Stonebridge again. Hope you're all well. Today's competition is Guess the Sound. I've recorded 10 sounds that you'll hear around the house or around my house. And uh, all you need to do is guess what the 10 sounds are. So you need to grab yourself a pen and paper. Very simply, you listen to the sounds. 
you record what you think they are, post them in the comments below this video, and Ali will give the price to the person who gets the most amount of sounds and um, gets them on the comments first. So good luck, I hope you have fun. This is sound number one. This is sound number two. This is sound number three. This is sound number four. This is sound number five. This is sound six. This is sound seven. This is sound eight. This is sound nine. This is sound ten. There's also a bonus sound in that one, if you can get it. Thank you. Well, thanks, Ray, for that competition. That was really good. Myron, did you get any of those sounds? I think I may have got a couple, Alison. That was really, really hard. I'm just wondering how the kids are going to manage. I don't know how they're going to manage. I think I definitely got the bonus sound because I have one of those bonus sounds right here beside me at this moment as well. So, um, yeah, hopefully the kids will get all 11 sounds. You just need to write down in the uh, comments below what you think the 10 sounds are. And if you know the bonus sound, then pop that down too, because that would be fantastic. And you need to get your entries onto Facebook by Thursday, the 21st of May. And the closing time is 12 noon. Entries after that date will not be included. But we'll be sending out a really cool prize. And Nyron, the prize is going to involve, it's a selection box that we're sending, not a chocolate selection box that you get, because it's not Christmas, but it's a selection box and it's going to have, oh, is this upside down? It's going to have, what? this is one of the things that's going to be in it. Ooh. Wow. That's just that one of really, the really many good. things that's going to be in it. Sorry? That looks really, really good. I know. And it's going to have, oh, I was looking for one of them yesterday. It's going to have some of these in it as well. It's upside down. $500. Oh. There we go. Five hundred dollars. Wow! Can I have that? No, this is this is oh, really cool. No. This is rice paper, <clears throat> so you can eat it. It's funny money wafer sheets, suitable for vegetarians, so you can eat it. Wow! How cool is that? So that's two of the Fantastic. things, but there'll be more things in the prize box that comes out to you. So there'll be a little box that comes with the prize in it, and we will post it to you. So make sure that we have your contact details as well. Don't post your contact details on Facebook. We'll contact you privately to get that information. All right. So now, and that's it for another week. We're done and dusted. Oh, no. We're done again. Oh, yeah, this Kids is Club is up. over. Oh, dear. So we've got to say goodbye. We have got to say goodbye but before we go let's just remind ourselves that next week our fifth kids club live uh kids 
what am I? What are we? Kids Club on Facebook, our fifth session. We will be um, having another Bible story from me, although we might have a special guest telling us a Bible story next week. We'll be having another craft. There'll be another game from Ray. And Helen's back next week with another Bible bit as well. So it's really cool. No, I'm excited. I cannot wait. All right. So it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from me. And we'll see you next week, kids. Don't forget to watch it. Bye.